Good morning to you all. It is the Ash Wednesday. We start our fasting and praying today for 40 days and 40 nights. Christ Jesus I went through this. He suffered in the wilderness and at the same time, Satan tempted him. When you look at Matthew chapter 4, you will see what I'm saying. And this time of Ash Wednesday and the Lenten Tide is a time of sober reflection, is a time to have a rethink on our ways, is an opportunity for us to do it right. It is an opportunity for us to call on God. It is an opportunity for us to pray and fast. It is an opportunity for us to repent and preach the gospel. The good Lord will help us in Jesus' name. You are welcome to the Lenten Tide. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we magnify your holy name. We say thank you, Lord, for your goodness and for your mercies, for the peace of mind and for the joy of salvation. Thank you, Lord, because you have given us the grace to commemorate the Lenten Tide. When your son, before he started his ministry, fasted for 40 days and 40 nights so that we can be free. And so during this Lenten Tide, visit us anew. Show yourself to us anew. May we know you. And let there be a rethink. Let there be a turnaround in all our situations that are bad. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Welcome to the glorious morning this Wednesday. And we know that the good Lord will continue to be with us all in Jesus' name. This time around, we are going to talk about faith and hope. But let me quickly read Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1 to 3. Now, faith is the assurance of things hopes for, for the conviction of things not seen. For by it, the people of all receive their commendation. By faith, we understand that the universe was created by the word of God, so that what is seen was not made out of things that are visible. Faith and hope that we are talking about. Faith is loyalty, sincerity. Sincerity of intentions, belief, trust, and loyalty to God. Allegiance, dedication, devotion to be steadfast, fidelity to one's promise. That is what faith means. So, you should have fidelity to your promises. The one you made to your God, the one you made to your husband, the one you made to your children. You just have to be faithful to it. And also... It is loyalty, loyalty to God, sincerity between you and I in our, in our dealings. That is the meaning of faith. And the meaning of hope, hope means to cherish a desire with anticipation. You want a good tomorrow. You want your children to get to the tertiary institutions. You want your children to travel. Your intention is, 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 is to help others and do it right. So, desire with anticipation your desire and you have faith that you are going to have what you desire so shall it be for you in the name of jesus christ hope is expectation what we are expecting maybe from god or from human beings it is fulfillment to expect with confidence to expect with faith and faith and hope they work together and as we have entered into the Ash Wednesday and Lenten died. Put your faith in God. Put your trust in the Lord. And at the same time, you should know that when you put your trust in God, there's hope. Many, many people are hopeless, especially with the economic situation, especially with the governance of our country, especially with, the, with, with, with all these troubles that we are going through. Many are faithless, many are hopeless. But don't join them. Have faith in God. When you have faith that it will surely be good. Your, to, to your today will be good, your tomorrow will be good. The to, today and tomorrow of your children, of your wife, of your husband will surely be good. Just put your trust in the Lord and you will surely rejoice in the Lord. So, let us hope that whatever we are going through, will soon be a thing of the past. Let us put our hope in Jesus Christ, especially at this Lenten season. Let us pray and fast. 
your healing is there. Your miracles is there. Your signs and wonders is there. And at the same time, faith in Christ make things possible. Faith in Jesus Christ make things possible. I pray for you that everything that you lay your hands upon, all shall be possible for you in the name of Jesus Christ. For in this hope we are saved. Now, hope that is seen is no hope. For who hopes for what he sees? But if we hope of what we do not see, we wait for it with patience. So, that is what we can see in Romans 12, 12. Romans 12, 12. So, have patience. Put your trust in the Lord. Hope in Him. When you are patient, you exercise humility. When you are patient, you exercise all the qualities that is expected of a Christian. I pray that the good Lord will be with you, will uphold you in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Bless the name of the Lord who has given you the grace to know Him, to see Him, to glorify Him, to praise Him, to worship Him. Thank Him for the new day. Thank you, Lord, for the joy of salvation. Thank you, Lord, because you are still alive. So as we thank the Lord, let us pray to God to forgive us all our sins. All the sins that we know and we do not know. All what we have done and missed, knowingly and unknowingly, pray to God to forgive you. In Jesus' precious and mighty name we have prayed. And so, Heavenly Father, we say thank you for all that you have done. As we go into this Lenten season, grant us the grace to bring ourselves under the subjection of the Holy Spirit. Father, Lord, we pray that you give us the spirit of patience. You give us the, the, the grace to pray. We pray that you give us the grace to fast. We pray that during our fasting period, as, as, as we bind, you bind with us. As we lose, you lose with us. In the name of Jesus Christ, your children are having hope in you. That they are today, they are tomorrow, will be good. So shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever the tribulation that you are in, I pray for you, you will get out of it. Are you there? Or you want to pay for your children's school fees? The Lord will provide for you. Are you there? You hope to travel out. That hope will be materialized in the name of Jesus Christ. Or you want to have visa, have this, have that your hope will never be fallen in the name of Jesus Christ. Or you have the hope to do one thing or the other in your business. The Lord God Almighty will provide for you. Are you looking for a way to grow your business? Receive it. It is possible for you. Are you still hoping of getting the fruit of the womb? Remember, I pray for you that you will never be hopeless in the name of Jesus Christ. Are you the type that is still looking, still looking for husband, looking for wife, you will never be hopeless in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that the God of peace will reign in your life. God of peace will reign in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that your hope on your children, your hope on your wife, your hope on your husband, your hope on your business, your hope on your education, your hope on your promotion, in the name of Jesus Christ, it will never elude you. And so, I pray for you, as we go into this Lenten season, the grace to humble yourself, the good Lord will give it to you. The grace to persevere, the good Lord will give it to you. The grace to pray more, the good Lord will give it to you. And so, as you go into the remaining part of the week, no accident on your way, no mishap on your way. Are you traveling? The air is safe, the land is safe, the rail is safe, the water is safe in the name of Jesus Christ. And so we pray for our leaders. Please, Lord, touch them. Lead them. What we are experiencing, people are becoming hopeless. People are becoming, people are hungry, people are angry. Lord God Almighty, please help us to douse this tension. We don't want crisis in Nigeria. We, will, we want peace in Nigeria. Let there be peace. And our hope 
in this government will never be dashed. Our hope in you will never be dashed. Our faith in you will never be dashed. So help us and lead us. And let there be a turnaround as we have taken it upon ourselves to fast and pray. Give us the grace to keep our holy Lent. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' precious and mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, as you have joined us today, join us on the same platform next Wednesday. I pray that the good Lord will be with us, will uphold us, will glorify himself in our lives. So, keep a holy Lent and let Jesus reign in your mortal body.